What I wanted to do today, I wanted to take a look at Spark versus Dynasty game. Dorado might be good to start with. I want to take a look at how every team is engaging in specifics. So that would be our main team. First of all, they want to identify what they are looking to do. After that, they want to look at when and where. Maybe they're looking to dive, maybe they're looking to spam somewhere. Um, so it depends. Once they identified what they have to do, we just gotta ask the questions when and where, because if you know the answers to when and where, but you don't know what you're doing exactly, it might be a little bit concerning, right? For these guys here, Spark and Dynasty, because they have kind of like exactly the same compositions. Well, Dynasty is just looking to uh, Symmetra at the start because they want to reposition themselves. But later, they're going to swap to Tracer. So it's an exact mirror here. Let's just start with the question of what. Yeah, again, because it's a spam dive. For what, it would be pretty simple. Both teams looking to simply spam and then dive in terms of specifics they need to take angles at the start looking to spam a little after that what they can look to do is establish good angle control and for the next part it would be just looking to dive close the distance with something so that's where tracer comes in that's where winston comes in and Hopefully, they also can synchronize it with the nades, with the researcher. Kind of like that. Also, when I say both teams looking to spam at the start and then dive later, I'm not exactly saying that they have to just look to spam all the time. It's not about just one specific move. Because when I say spam, that means mainly teams looking to play from kind of far, just looking to do some cheap damage, maybe um, Anna can look for shots, maybe Surgeon can look for some extra shots as well, kind of like that. Winston at the same time can look to just right click, yeah, from really, really far and try to tickle the enemy a little. If, even though they're in a spam stage, yeah, it's not necessarily means they cannot look to dive. It's just all about knowing that that's mainly what they're looking to do at the start. Mainly looking to spam at the start and then near towards the end, our engagement should be looking to be more divey kind of. We're still looking to spam, we're still gonna have Anna playing far, but there are gonna be more divey elements involved into it. Let's just answer the question, so when and where both teams are looking to do things. So with timing, mainly when we're answering the question when, it's all about synchronizing the pressure. Let's say I'm just this Winston on, hung on Spark team. If I'm looking to do something, I want to make sure most of my team, they are able to contribute to what I'm doing mainly. It's about that. There are some other specifics, but we're just gonna pay attention to what's the most important for us. For where part, where we looking to spam and dive. We're looking to do that in locations where we can have multiple angles of attack. Let's just take a look at Spark at the start. Let's just give you an example if we're answering the questions what, when and where. At the start, Spark simply is looking to spam and dive in this location. Why? Because this is the location where these guys can have multiple angles of attack, where they can set up those good angles. Um, let's say Anna can be over here and have vision on this position. Someone potentially can also be over there. Tracer can take this position here. Winston is right there, we can clearly see. At this moment though, they kind of just have three angles of attack, which is, I would say, is pretty, pretty good. We want to have multiple angles of attack when we're answering the question where. So we want to pay attention to this location right here. Spam in this location at the start and look to dive later. When it's all about synchronizing the pressure, where identified it. Both teams, when 
they just starting. First of all, they're looking to get good angle control. That is why Sal Dynasty, for example, is looking to just TP out of spawn to get some extra mobility so they can set up accordingly, so they can get better angles faster, um, cleaner, etc. etc. Just avoid some unnecessary damage because obviously they're gonna be on card. They don't have any angles. So what they gonna do versus these guys diving like this, right? So what they're looking to do, I guess, is trying to go towards this high ground, and that's where they can look to set up multiple angles of attack. Let's just again pay attention to the wear part here, and uh, let's just keep it going a little bit. Let's just pay attention to positioning part. First of all, we gotta be fighting for those angles. Second, we need to set up as there. Once we fought for those angles, we are looking to set up in there and use those. Two basic things. So fight for angles, set up and use. And just keep playing and see how both teams are doing so. Fighting with enemy sojourn. Because this an, that's an angle these guys are using. This is scary. We want to get these guys out of this angle. want to push them off. So we get this angle and use it versus dynasty team. So they kind of move towards that position on top right. First of all, establishing this good angle control. And, and they're pushing out resources. They are pushing out multiple people from here. So the brig got pushed. The surgeon got out as well. What's they going to do next? Tracer is out. Our first goal when we get in those positions is just getting enemy resources out. And then the second is, once we got this resources out, we can get kills. Let's keep, keep watching. They're still trying to fight. See how Spark is trying to fight for this angle here. They're still trying to get those angles, um, good positions back. Well, now, because Dynasty have this position, what they can do is have someone here, have someone there, and then someone can also go all the way in there. And that allows them to have multiple angles of attack. That means they can dive in area right there. Let's just start here, kind of. <clears> the <throat> Winston is looking to dive, looking to just take some space, but then eventually what's going to happen is the fit's gonna get slapped, I think. Yeah, so the fit's got thick on the shy. And then there's Winston who is diving in. Getting rid of him. Yeah, but this part to me it looks a little bit concerning. So see how the Cell Dynasty that got this space. How they had the multiple angles of attack, such as this one, this one, and that one, which I mentioned. But then, if they are looking to push the next base, what about having multiple angles of attack on the, that area again? We can maybe try to do something like that, try to do something like that, and like that. But from what we see is, the Sal Dynasty, the play kind of, kind of stacked in here. Uh, that's understandable. The Winston just do win. And once they got read of the Winston, not necessarily have to rotate towards the main, but we can also rotate towards this spot. Alright, so eventually Alpha got one pick in there and then Spark is trying to push into the Salt Dynasty room in here. But again, if we're watching it from Spark perspective, what is the problem in here? Why it's really uncomfortable to push? First of all, 
multiple ultimates such as nano such as brick this is really uncomfortable to fight in the kind of this space but even fundamentally we could just say it's really really hard to have multiple angles of attack into this area that's why what spark could look to do just let these guys out a little bit and then look to dive in more openish areas where they can look to have those angles of attack but because they dive in in a enclosed spaces like that uh, versus the break ultimate with the nano is just not that comfortable smooth fighting fighting a lot of picks i guess so this is good <laughs> so funny how is smooth just sneaking in there <laughs> And a lot of times we answer the where part, where both teams looking to dive. Let's get to the part when. And if we're talking about the part when, so the timing part, we could 100% say that the timing is off for Sile Dynasty. <clears throat> Why the timing is off right here? <clears throat> what we call perfect timing. First of all, what that means is Winston looking to use his bubble. Tracer is looking to be on the flank and just dive in. For Anna, it would be just nade. So good offensive nade on something. So the dive, the team from South Dynasty, for example, could get kills. Brig, she can at least look for the whip shot at the start, pack, pack packing DPS, is really, really important, specifically Brig is oriented to pack the Tracer because a lot of times Tracer is gonna be behind the corners and Brig is just good at throwing the pack at the Tracer and while the Tracer is behind the corner, she's still getting healed. A Sojourn, yeah, Sojourn, looking to just charge shot. That would be ideal timing from these guys. If we just break it down into details for the spark it's also the same and we can see what's missing right there the bubble is missing and then because the winston cannot dive and south dynasty still have those multiple angles of attack it's not possible to go in right now so the timing is going to be off that means spark can create more pressure which is not going to be ideal You can see how Fitz is also looking for those charge shot but with ultimate but because smooth cannot dive because there is no bubble that means no attention is gonna be on him that means the pressure is not synchronized so Fitz just gotta get out significant damage is gonna be missed What do you think about this dive right here from Sino Sal Dynasty? Is it good enough or or not? Because what we're looking to do when we're synchronizing the pressure is also trying to find those good angles of attack, like answering the question of can these guys get multiple angles of attack into this position? So technically, Fitz can get up here, the Tracer, <clears throat> Prophet can also fight into this bubble here, and then the Anna can look for Nate, Brick can also look to pack those guys, but are they synchronizing it really, really well? We can see how Fitz is looking for shots, let's, let's just watch it again. So Fitz is up here, the Smurf is in, but because the Fitz got a little bit earlier in here, it feels kind of tough for them to find value. So Profit is late, but Fitz is early, and that creates this desynchronization, right? So we cannot just capitalize on any anything from what the smooth is doing. Let's just rewind it again. So we just catch it. 
right here see how fits just slightly early and then more pressure comes towards him and then that means he is gonna be forced first and then winston like smooth is gonna receive the pressure second which is not ideal our tank should always receive pressure first slightly a little bit of a desynchronization and profit is also not there yeah, Fitz eventually looking for this charge shot, but it was like, yeah, I guess, I guess I can try something, yeah, but you got forced already, can't do much. <laughs> yeah, Prophet's not set up also might be the problem, but it's kind of like a snowball, because one bubble was used at the start not properly, more resources from Dynasty getting forced because of it, because Spark is just continuously creating more and more pressure if they synchronize better if they position better that's that's gonna be really really good oh look at this little tag look at that so he's in the air zapping the brig and then landing yeah maybe slightly from mechanic perspective could be maybe better to zap diana but because the brig was low i guess he assumed someone could finish to her but yeah, it's just satisfying to watch good Winston's. Yeah, he, did it. he finished the break. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's start around here. So, Spark have this entire position, which again allows them to have those good multiple angles of attack. <clears throat> so they can send someone in there, they can send someone in there, they can also maybe drop in there. Too. And for the timing part, right? Let's just watch both teams, what they're gonna do. Profit slightly in, trying to find this, this pick, but I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this engage right there. I'm not sure what was the, what was the reasoning. Let's, because we cannot see the, everything that's happening here. This, this is totally not ideal. This is a way big risk trying to invest recall right when our, our tank in general is not there because just too expensive like let's imagine our tank dives in and then we are looking to engage right after can we do more damage most likely yes this is just might be a little bit of a desynchronization from their part but then they're dropping on main here and just looking to play near the card it, it seems like Kind of like the same mistake as in the first point to me. Like the Spark, they have really, really good angles of attack. But what they have to do is, if we compare the first example where they were in the first point, they, well, they didn't have good angles there at all. But here they do have those angles. But let's just think what kind of elements they should use more. Because they are spam and slash dive income should they be looking to dive i don't think so why because these guys are currently stronger like sal dynasty is currently stronger the short range because of the brig ultimate and because of the opportunity for them to nano so what we have to do look to nano this guy look to look to nano surgeon look to play for more of a spammy oriented variant of engagement that would be a good solution they're making the same mistake of just saying let's dive when they shouldn't really they just gotta um, put more emphasis on a spam in this kind of case it's just constant understanding of what when and where we're looking to do